Excellent session with three rounds of Omkara. Starting prayer. So first of all, Evergum Hridayam Niranya Ona Shamsagal. A very happy Onam to each one of you present here. So today we will have a short presentation on what Onam is. So Onam is the harvest festival of Kerala. So you can see um, that everyone in Kerala, irrespective of their religion, caste, will be celebrating Onam will be putting up a pukalam that you can see right here, will be wearing Kerala sari and preparing sadhya and will be participating in various games. So let's take a look at um, the different aspects of Onam festival. So we'll look at what is Onam, how it is celebrated, the most delicious part that is Onam sadhya and the traditional games and entertainment. So the story of Onam goes like, uh, it is the harvest festival and it is said that uh, on this day of Onam, Mahabali or the ruler that once ruled Kerala comes to visit his people. So he was sent to Patala Loka by Lord Mahavishnu uh, with his avataram Vamana Avatara and um, he, it was said that the time when he ruled Kerala, he, it was one of the most happiest kingdom with the people completely peaceful and fearless, rich and this was challenged, the devas or the gods were felt challenged by this sort of um, ruling by the demon king that is Mahabali and thus he was sent uh, to Patala Loga but because of his humility and his um, power of um, humbleness Right? He was again given a boon by the Vamana, that is Lord Vishnu, to come back every year to Kerala and visit his people on the day of Onam. Next. Now, uh, how Onam is celebrated? So first of all, the most important aspect is of course the Pukalam that you can see here. So it is celebrated in 10 days starting from Attam and at the end there is Onam and before that there is Thiruvonam. And each day the size of the Pukalam will keep increasing. And you can see a grand Pukalam that is put up on the last day, on the 10th day that we celebrate as Onam. Next. Now this again is the most delicious part of uh, the celebration, like any other festival, the Onam Ona Sadhya is served in a banana leaf. It includes around 20 to 40 dishes, uh, differs from different part of Kerala. You can take a look at it. Next. Now traditional games and entertainment. So this is also one such festival, unlike any other festival where everyone come together and have a beautiful time. Um, so one is Vallamkali, which you would have seen videos where there are boat races that are conducted in different parts of the uh, state. Next. There is Pulikali uh, and Kamatikali. So this again, along with the Mahabali who comes to visit the, uh, his land every year, along with him 
the pulikali and kamatikali will also be taken place they will also come around walk around go to each houses and meet everyone next there is also vadambali which you would be familiar with which is the tug of war there is also uriyadi which again you will be familiar with now there is also another part which is the tiruvadrakali which you will get to see right now live so there will be a tiruvadra performance by our students right now
Much. That was a wonderful performance which brought about the energy of the Onam festival. So this was Tiruvathra Kali which is performed by the women in Kerala on most of the auspicious occasions. So is there an announcement? Yes. Hari Om Namaste. Sarve Pyaha Samskrito Savasya Shubhakama Naha. So, so as we all know from today onwards we are going to celebrate Sanskrit week. Actually, the Sanskrit day was on Shavana Purnima, which was on August 19. But uh, for the competitions we are conducting, we are celebrating the Sanskrit week from tomorrow, uh, today till September 21st. So during these days, we are going to have number of competitions. And today, you can see there are many decorations done by the students of uh, yoga and spirituality. So there is a, uh, there are charts showcasing the asanani according to the from the uh, hatha yoga pradipika. And here we are, we can have some uh, daily sentences which we can use in Sanskrit. So the English uh, meaning is also given. So you can read them and you can use them in your daily lives. There are Sanskrit sentences are there. So you can read them. You can whenever you have free time, you can read them and you can use them in our in your daily life and then we have we are having a yoga ghati so if you go there there's a clock so you can see the one ishwaraha two vidya avidya three trigunaha then samprajnata samadhihi so like this for each number in the clock denoting a concept related to yoga so you can go and watch the clock and then we are having a Sanskrita Vrikshaha here. You can see the Sanskrit tree here. Uh, very beautifully decorated again by the uh, students of yoga and spirituality. So there you can see the Maheshwara Sutrani and words, some words of uh, Sanskrit words and many other things related to Sanskritam. So have a look. And also we are going to have a book, some book stalls from uh, tomorrow. Uh, which where the publishers from uh, Delhi, Bangalore and Tamil Nadu they will come and set up their stall and you can have a look related to the books related to yoga and Ayurveda and IKS Indian knowledge system so you can have a look on that uh, and also uh, today we are having the first competition uh, the recitation competition the Patanjala Yoga Sutram or Ashtanga Hridayam or Brahad Jatakam. So you have to choose any one of them and you have to recite. So the students who have been registered for the competition, please assemble here at 10.45. The competition will start by 11 o'clock to today. Uh, we will start the competition, start at uh, sharp at 11 o'clock. So the participants are required, uh, are requested to uh, assemble at Shruti Mandir here at 10.45. And those who want, who wish to participate but didn't register earlier can also directly come on the spot and can participate in the competition. So the week-long celebration, the all the artifacts what you are seeing will be here in Shruti Mandir. Whenever you get time, come and see. But do not disturb those artifacts. Let's see from some far. Means don't touch them. Okay, they are very dedicated. Namaste. Hari Om. Bhautaha Suchanartham. Adya Vayam Yoga Vidyalayasya Nutana Kaksharnam Udghatanam Kurumaha Madhyane Trivadanam Code Bhavanese Upari Sarvesham Suswagatam Uh, good morning everyone. Tomorrow morning from 10.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. we have a guest lecture here by Mr. Geetesh Kulkarni on the science of Garbha Samskara. All the teachers and students are welcome to attend it. Thank you. 
Once again, wishing you all a very happy Onam. Let us conclude today's session with Shanti Mantra. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Makashe Dukha Bhag Bhavet Om Shanti 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 Shanti